Hey, Dr. Drone back again with another video for you guys. Uh, this time I'm going to show you how to set a uh, throttle fail safe on an easy UHF system. Um, couldn't actually find a video on how to do it myself, so I, it took me about a week or so and I figured it out. So, let's get started here. Um, first thing to know is the uh, easy UHF system will not allow you to lower your PWM setting below uh, about 992, as you can see right up here on my low portion of my, my throttles. Um, you can lower the trims, which I'll do now. And it doesn't go down at all. Uh, I just went to max trim. So I'm going to take it back to center trim. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is um, go ahead and set your fail safe with your throttle all the way down. Um, and to do that, you're just going to push and hold your fail safe button until you get those uh, six beeps. Now we have set the fail safe, so if we throttle up a little bit, you can see right up here. Oh, we're now sitting about 1440 on the uh, PPM value. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, power off, and you'll watch that 1440 drop down to nine. 93. So we'll go ahead and flip that back on. So, since 993 is actually your fail safe setting now, what we got to do is adjust your uh, your fail safe setting. You're going to want that to be roughly around uh, 20 higher than your fail safe setting. That'll give enough distance for it to kick in. So, now the next trick to getting this all to work is actually to adjust your trim on your throttle um, up to somewhere around the um, 1330 area. I'm sorry, we're going to take it up to about 1030. Um, Ten twenty. 1032, 1033. I think that'll be an uh, appropriate spot right there. So essentially what you want is you want your your new trim setting to be roughly 20 more than your actual failsafe setting. That way it gives it enough room that you don't accidentally engage the failsafe. So basically that's what you're going to do is just leave your trim set higher than your failsafe. This will still allow you to arm and disarm your copter once you do an uh, radio calibration. Um, only do your calibration after you have raised your trim to the 1033, 1032 area um, and then go ahead and do a radio calibration. That way when you, that'll allow, it, that'll allow the craft to arm and disarm uh, using the standard stick controls. So, this should work now and uh, so let's see, to test it I'm going to go ahead and arm the craft I got a uh, Hobby King Trifecta sitting here. Let me back out here so you guys can see what's going on. So, over here on the bench, we've got a Hobby King Trifecta with an easy UHF receiver. So, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and arm it. I got the propellers off because this is an indoor safety test. So, to test the system, what we're going to do is we're going to trick the craft into thinking it's flying. So, I'm going to throttle up. Then I'm going to walk over and pick the craft up so it actually thinks it's flying across the room. So go above half throttle and then begin raising the craft off the ground. Now I'm going to wander across the room a little bit. That way it's not in the same exact area as where we launched from. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn off the controller. And as you can see, RTL has engaged. I'm going to slowly walk the craft back over and you hear the motor spooling down as it's landing. And there we go, it's landed and disarmed all by itself. So now I will turn back on the controller. And then to get out of RTL, you have to flip your mode switch. And there you have it. Um, hope this video helped. If it really did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I haven't found any other videos on this setup, so pretty plain and simple, guys. Happy flying.